Have you ever heard of hashtag faith? Now you have. Hi, this is Daryl Chesser. Thanks once again for tuning in to Sea Life TV. I appreciate you taking the time to, to listen. I'm going to be reading again from one of my uh, uh, postings. I think this one is from 2016 or somewhere back there. Ancient of Days, of course. And uh, as always, uh, you'll see up on the screen, uh, they somewhere on this screen, you'll see uh, sealifeministries.org where you can go and uh, you can listen to 35 years worth of sermons from uh, Sea Life uh, TV from my dad, my mom, me, my sister, David Schock. Uh, you, you name it, there are just uh, many, 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 many people that are worth hearing and the word of God is preached. So that's sealifeministries.org. That's free. Uh, go and listen. I think you'll be blessed. Also links to the archive for all of these videos, Sea Life TV, are uh, on that site. So, hashtag faith. For those of you that may not know uh, what a hashtag is, a hashtag, a hash, number one, is just the number sign. That's all it is, just the number sign. You know, on your phone, pound, pound is another word for it. But in Twitter land, on the internet, that number sign, hash, that's a hashtag. You put that in front of it and boom, Bob's your uncle. You've got a topic that people can put on their post and it begins to accumulate. Everybody that has that hashtag on their tweet or their post, that's put into a heading of hashtag faith. You know, like if that was your hashtag. So uh, topics can go viral very quickly. They can be trending very quickly. And faith you know, I, I think like many things, people believe that there's real power in hashtags. So today I'm going to just read from this and, and let, you, let you finish it. Okay. Jesus lays out very clearly what was happening in history and exactly why he had come to earth at that particular time. In Mark chapter 12, Jesus then began to speak to them in parables. A man, God, is uh, this is God representing God. A man planted a vineyard, Israel. He put a wall around it, dug a pit for the wine press, and built a watchtower. Then he rented or leased out the vineyard to some farmers and moved to another place. At harvest time, he sent a servant to the tenants, the priests and teachers of the law at that time, religious to collect from them some, some of the fruit of the vineyard. But they seized him, beat him, and sent him away empty-handed. Then he sent another servant to them. They struck that man, this man on the head, and treated him shamefully. He sent still another, and that one they killed. He sent many others, prophets and kings. Some of them they beat, others they killed. He had one left to send, a son whom he loved. Yes, this is Jesus Christ that we're talking about. He sent him last of all, this son saying, they will respect my son. But the tenants said to one another, this is the heir. Come, let's kill him and the inheritance will be ours. Whew. So they took him and killed him and threw him out of the vineyard. What then, Jesus asked, what then will the owner of the vineyard do? <clears throat> he will come and kill those tenants and give the vineyard to others. Wow. Well, the others, Christ Jesus, the 12 apostles, the believers, that's who he gave it to. And Jesus continues, haven't you read this passage of scripture? The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Jesus, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Then the chief priests, the teachers of the law, and the elders looked for a way to arrest him because they knew he, Jesus, had spoken this parable against them. But they were afraid of the crowd. Hashtags, topics, trending things, Twitter fury. 
They were afraid of the crowd, so they left him and went away. And as he taught, Jesus said, watch out for the teachers of the law, for those who have their purity badges, their blue check marks, and their, their purity in all of their condemning the right people, hashtagging the right things. They like to walk around in flowing robes and be greeted with respect in the marketplaces and have the most important seats in the synagogues and places of honor. At banquets, they devour widows' houses and for a show make lengthy prayers. These men will be punished most severely. It is important that your faith be in the Son of God, the heir of the vineyard, Jesus Christ, and not in those who leased the vineyard. Your eyes as believers are to always be on Christ Jesus and his finished work on the cross, not on the tenants and not on the crowds. Your social hashtag faith means absolutely nothing. When leaders call you to faith in Christ Jesus and hope and love in Christ Jesus during tough times, all the time, then listen to them. But when they call you to follow the crowd to express your faith in hashtag faith, then run from them. You are a believer, not a social worker. You are called to do good, God's good works. Do what God leads you to do by the Holy Spirit. Now, Jesus loved people. He died for all people. That is our message. Let the world fight their own language and mind battles on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, and on the media. And for us, as for us, our strength is in one thing alone. One thing, Christ Jesus and the foolishness of preaching and teaching about the gospel. And indeed, it is foolishness to the world. <clears throat> the world will always try to get the gospel out of your mouth by stressing your good works for a good cause. But there is only one thing by which men can be saved. And that is by hearing the word preached about Jesus Christ and his finished work on the cross and his resurrection from the dead and believing. Jesus saves, tweet that. Jesus heals, tweet that stuff. Jesus loves all people, tweet that and see what the crowd does. If you do, the only people that you will offend are the ones that need to be offended. Remember, it was priests and teachers of Moses' law that Jesus said would be severely punished. Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. Read the scriptures. Get acquainted with the voice of Jesus Christ, our good shepherd. Hear his voice only. Don't get caught up in activity over truth. Activity and not truth. Good works and not faith in Christ Jesus. Jesus Christ, he is the truth. Hashtag Jesus Christ, he is the truth.